Hello and welcome back to Watercat Gaming. Last time we've been exploring, but I recently found out something while following other followers of the content of the Fallout, as I enjoy doing. Now there's a creator, Tunnel Snakes Fool, and she's pretty fun. She has great facts, and I have to admit I've recently been taught something. I did not know that Arcade Ganon was a follower. As I've said before, I judge myself, my younger self, continuously. How did I miss that? So, of course, I felt like an embarrassed idiot, but we have to go run around the wasteland with Arcade Ganon now, especially since I guarantee you he likes energy weapons like me. Also, he's just a smart dude, it would seem, so he probably has some interesting conversation. No offense to you, Raul, which, speaking of Raul, I'm gonna go ahead and send you back to the Lucky 38. Uh, I don't think you'll mind. I think you deserve a vacation after all we've been through in the last few episodes. It's been pretty heavy. Angry soldier robots with bazookas. I'm sure they'll be a good police force. Don't worry about that. In the end, they'll be my police force, and you were my friend, Raul, so they'll be your police force. But either way, hopefully they'll be, you know, under my control by the end of all this. So... Yes, Raul, I think it's time for me to head out without you, and you can go take a little vacation. Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. Thankfully, Raul is not sad about that at all, so, uh, it is, and I will meet you back at the Lucky 38. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. I would never do that. Okay, well, let's go talk to Arcade Ganon, who is in the old Mormon fort. Hello? Hello again. Still in one piece, I see. Yes, yes, I am. Do you need any help? Personally, no. But thanks to you, Julie says we're a lot better off these days. I'll take her word for it. So thanks. Well, I do hope that I've made some kind of difference. Would you like to come with me? I could use someone skilled in medicine, other than myself. You've helped the followers, so you can't be entirely bad. To be honest, I haven't heard anyone say a negative word about you. Good. As long as you keep working to help people around here get a fair shake, sure, I'll lend a hand. All right, let's not waste any time. There are people out there to help, things to learn. Maybe not in that order, but let's get to it. All right. I definitely think that he will have a good time, Arcade. I love that his name is Arcade. Also, he gave me a better healing perk, which is going to be great on top of my medicine things. Now, there are some side quests I want to work on, especially since I had done some things in fiend territory recently. It reminded me that there are fiends that I can get a bounty for, and I haven't actually started that lately, so I think it'd be a good idea. Yep. Yep, she agrees. The local agrees. It's, it, is, it is the plan. So the side quest I'm going to do today is three card bounty, because I think the wasteland would be a lot better without these specific fiends. So let's go ahead and head there and talk to them and see what they have to tell me. Maybe we will see if there is a free bed and uh, we can nap. But let's see if the guy is actually out here. He's probably sleeping. Now, also, I am hoping that this does not mess with anything because technically it's an NCR quest. And like I said, I was trying not to mess with any specific faction yet. I would like to go as far as I can on that. I don't want to make the Legion mad. Don't want to make Mr. House mad. Don't want to make the NCR mad. But I also don't want any of those guys thinking that I am their best friend. Except oh. for, like, maybe Mr. House right now. Well, it looks like every single one of these beds are owned. So we'll just stand under this, uh lamppost for a few hours. Sun is shining. We can go look for the person that gives us the quest now. Are any of you them? No. Here he is, Major Daughtry. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, you better involve some dead fiends. Well, actually, that's what I'm here for. You're having trouble with fiends, you say? Damn right I am. And I'm paying bounties. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Yes, it does. Good. That's damn good. I figure it's about time we got lucky out here, so maybe you can snuff one of these maniacs. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nefi. He's fast, and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. And finally, Cook Cook. 
Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? All right, well, we're gonna go with Violet first because actually that's where I got Rex's new brain a while back. Which means that she's already down. I don't think I have her head on me technically, which is strange, but it should still be there. Violet it is. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down, but we know less about her than the other two. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. Might as well be their mother and never leave her side. All right, well, I can handle a few dogs. Where do I need to go? It's going to go ahead and tell me the location, but like I said, it's near Poseidon Gas Station. Oh, well, I didn't say that, but like I said, I have been there. Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. None of them stays in any one place for long. All right, I got it. One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. I understand. I will see you later, goodbye. Right. All right, Arcade. And Rex. I'm not exactly a mercenary, but taking out scumbags of this magnitude wouldn't cause me to lose any sleep. All right, and we'll go to the Poseidon gas station that's nearby. The dogs will probably be there. Time to I was right. He does do energy hey, weapons. Hey. That's all. Right on. I, I don't love that I had to beat the dogs again, but hey, I guess that they, they, maybe there were more. Maybe there were puppies. Maybe they've grown since then. Okay, good. Yes, she's still here. And the first one is done. That seemed unnecessary, but okay then, Fallout. This guy has a funky name, so I gotta talk to him. Let me guess. You got work for me, right? Well, you're too late. I just quit the bounty trade. As soon as I pick up some caps that Dottri owes me, I'm out of this scrapyard. How long have you been a bounty hunter? Oh shit, I don't know. Gotta be at least a month. Longer than I last in most jobs. So you've worked a lot of different trades? Oh yeah, a lot. Like before I was a bounty hunter, I worked as a caravan guard. You'd think that was a cakewalk, right? Wrong. Crazy bastards expected me to wake up at dawn. Forget it. It's about two hours after this guy hits the sack. And I need at least 10, 12 hours of sleep to do my job. Price of excellence. Well, I do suppose, especially if it seems like you're working at night most of the time. So, are you- I don't really want to offend him being like, are you supposed to be famous or something? I mean, his name is Little Buster. Little Buster. I've been known to hunt a few bounties myself. Well, hey, the field's wide open now that I'm gone. Probably lots of people looking to get in once they hear I quit. Alrighty. Well, I don't know why you didn't go after, like, the really bad fiends if you're so good. But hey, you do you, Little Buster. Goodbye. Hey, yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? Uh, I hope that for me too. All right, Daughtry, I have a noggin for you. I don't know where in my body I'm keeping it, but I have it. I see you're still alive, and that's promising. Any luck on that bounty? I think it went pretty well. I want to go ahead and claim it. That right. You killed one of the psychopaths on my shit list. Let me see the scumbag's head. God damn it. That's Violet, all right. You've made me one happy son of a bitch, you know that? Here, this is the bounty I put on her head. It's yours. All right, well, thank you. I'm open to some more bounties, if you would like. I think we're gonna go with Driver and a Five this time. Damn right I do. Who do you think you can take down? Yeah, let's go with Driver and a Five. If you've got some guts, I'll give you that. Nephi is one tough son of a bitch. You let him get close, and he'll take your head off. My advice is this. Talk to Lieutenant Gorobetz. He's in charge of Alpha Team, First Recon. Snipers. 
If you're lucky, you can lure Nefi into the open and the sharpshooters can bring him down. You bring me the head, you'll still get the bounty. It's a better bet than trying to take Nefi one on one, but it's your call. Well, I will contemplate that. Where is Lieutenant Gorbaretz? Out in the yard. Gorobetz coordinates our sniper teams. He's been gunning for Nefi for weeks now. Only thing he hasn't had is willing bait. Don't have enough troops to order anyone beyond the fence. Not anymore, anyway. Okay, well, I got it. You've gone after the fiends before. I don't have to tell you to keep alert. Good luck. Right. Okay. Well, we will figure Patrol out how we're gonna work on that one, because... I mean, it would be easier to use the sharpshooters. I hope they don't risk his head. I wouldn't think they would. All right, Lieutenant Gorobetz. There, I said it right that time. I'm Lieutenant Gorobetz, first recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. Well, actually, Major Daughtry said that I should talk to you about taking down Driver Nefi. Would that be something that you'd like to help me with? Whatever you need, we'll make sure it gets done. I was gonna have your help to kill him. What did you have in mind? You thinking of luring him into range of my snipers? Uh, no, I didn't think about it, the other guy did, but I will totally take credit for that. Exactly. I will be the bait. It's one hell of a risk you'd be taking, but if you're willing, we'll do everything we can to keep you alive. Alright, well let's do that. I think it would be an easy thing, and then we can get to Cook Cook and get him out of the freaking Mojave. He, his name's Cook Cook. They say his cooking is good. What is he cooking? Is it normal food? Do we really trust fiends? We can question this more when we get to that. Sorry, I'm just ahead of myself. Let's do this. Listen, my team has a debt to settle with Nefi. We've seen too many of our boys get brained by that golf club of his. You lure him out for us, and if we can score some payback, we'll all pitch in caps for a reward. My team will take up positions around the old rock crushing plant. They'll wait until they see Nefi, and then they'll start shooting. At that point, just keep your head down and stay out of range of his golf club. We'll take care of the rest. To be fair, I think I can handle it if not, but thank you guys very much. I'm glad that we have this many snipers taking care of it. What's that creepy noise? Am I insane? What the heck? We've discovered the Basin Creek building before. Did I die after I did that? We had a whole episode where I explored. Uh oh. At least, at least mines make sense. I don't know why those cars were blowing up still. It looks like everybody is in place now. And I'm gonna guess that he's over here. There is another flashing tick mark, but this is the one nearby. Also, Time I'm assuming, yes, that I'll be taking out other fiends. Whoa. We might want to change weapons for this. Rex just is being bait and I don't like it. Was that all? No, there are... There's probably more. I feel like shish kebabbing. It works well with fiends. I was coming to shish kebabbing, Rex! I was! There's more. There's more. Get me out of kill cam. Oh, I'm never going to be able to keep up with Rex. Is there a running mod? That'd be, that would really help, actually. No. Uh, I got him. Okay. And we get his golf driver. Look, guys, it turns out we really didn't need them after all. Oh, well, they will still be pleased, and that's what matters. Well, even though it's nighttime, hey. Major Daughtry is out. Got any more good news for me? I would like to claim the bounty. I actually killed 
driver in a fight on accident. And not the snipers. I sniped him, though, I'm pretty sure. If not, Rex took him out. It doesn't really matter. We got his head. You killed another one. Let me have a look at the head. Well, well, well. Driver in the fi. Nothing to say, you son of a bitch. No tips on my golf swing. Lost a lot of good men to this psychopath. Morale's gonna be better now that he's gone. Here's the bounty I promised. I guess we can send first recon down to Camp Forlorn Hope. They need all the help they can get there. That's two psychopaths dead. If you can bring down the third, there's a bonus in it for you. Well, I am ready to go after Cook Cook, and I'm hoping the other factions are not getting suspicious of the fact that I'm helping you guys, because this really is because these fiends are terrible. But, alright, give me the location here. One thing I should tell you about Cook Cook. Piece of shit is pure animal. He raped one of my snipers, and that makes this personal. Also, he's got a flamethrower, and he's damn good with it. From what I hear, he either rapes or burns every living thing he gets his hands on. Only one man's gotten close to killing him, and that's Little Buster. So he says, anyway. Maybe it's bullshit, but I'd still ask him about it. Alright, well, I will go ahead and uh, do that then. Hey, Little Buster. Heard you got Cook Cook. I hope you roasted that bastard with his own flamer. Not yet. He doesn't mention Cook Cook at all, that's silly. Hey, yeah. Next time you see me, maybe I'll be rolling in a shitload of caps, right? Well, I mean, he does. He he stated his anger. Watch out! But he stated his anger. That was liter that was literally it. Yeah, I will try to burn the man with uh, shish kebab. Rex had barbecued beans and caught on fire. It looks like we probably will have to go into this compound. Okay, we're kind of behind North Vegas Square because it, it's just very misleading that he would be inside the compound, but I think we found him. What? Apparently I killed Cook Cook long ago. Rex, that's just great. Go, Rex, go. Yeah, I'm wondering when I killed Cook Cook. Did I just do that when I took on the fiends in the vault when I went to Vault 3? Oh, well. I don't know, but there's the location. It's right... Right outside of the west entrance. Oh, the south entrance to the New Vegas ruins. Okay. I didn't realize that I had killed most of these fiends. Hello. I have brought a very important head for you. Still working on that last bounty? I'd like to claim it. If that's true, that'd be the last of them. Yeah, that's Cook Cook. Ugh, did he always smell like this, even before he was dead? I don't know. And the fiends let this guy touch their food? Well, this is payback for at least one of my troopers. She'll be glad to know he's dead. Here's your caps. You've been one hell of a stroke of good luck, you know that? Those three scumbags probably killed 20 NCR troopers. Can you bring them down alone? Wish I had a few grunts as good as you. Damn good working with you. All right. I'm liked, and I'm hoping that doesn't push anybody over the edge because I'm not their best friends. But I will work with you. Because that's something that makes the wasteland better, regardless of who you side with. Well, I hope you had a good time running around with me and Arcade Ganon today, and I hope that you will join me next time. I'm gonna go do my thing, and you can go do yours. Thank you so much for watching. I went to go look at my footage, and I did find out in episode 10, when I went to go get the dog brain for Rex, I did run into Cook Cook. I even acknowledged in the video that it might be Cook Cook. You like I think that's Cook Cook. There's a, there's a fiend named Cook Cook. But you see, Rex went and got him behind a wall, and since he is in very silvery armor, I didn't notice he was sitting in a pile of scrap. So really, Rex saved the day, as usual.
All right. Well, have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching Watercat Gaming.